Officer Ryan Hale, Primus Police Department. Please tell us what happened the day of the shooting. I was on patrol. I was on uh, a state highway. I had a vehicle exit a gas station at a high rate of speed and almost sideswiped my patrol vehicle. I took notice to him. I stopped. I, you know, I backed up a little bit. I ran his plate. Um, the plate comes back to a Porsche, and what I had in front of me was a silver Acura. So um, he turned around. He gave me that deer in the headlight look, and before I knew it, he was he was gone. He took off. Um, called it into headquarters and began to uh, pursue him. He attempted to exit uh, the highway onto the Garden State Plaza ramp probably about 90 miles an hour and couldn't control his vehicle and crashed into a snowbank. Um, I got out of my car um, with the situation as it was already, um, took out my weapon, was ordering him to shut the vehicle off, let me see your hands, get out of the car, to which he responded nothing. He just continued to attempt to dislodge his vehicle from the snowbank. Um, eventually I saw lights coming around the bend, which I knew my, my guys were coming, so I began to, um, I waited for him to arrive. I went up to, I went up to the car, and as I got right next to the vehicle, uh, the driver brandished a 9mm handgun and just began firing out the window, um, to which I was struck several times, um, started to retreat. I actually ended up going um, down probably about six feet from the car. Um, and he was still shooting at that time. Uh, I managed to roll over and um, just began firing at the subject. I was on the highway. I heard her calling on the radio that she had a car take off on her. Uh, I started heading in her direction. Um, I got onto the highway. She had got on the radio and said she just passed uh, my location. So I started heading towards where she was going. Uh, she told me, she said the ramp, or the, I'm sorry, the car tried to take the ramp onto the Garden State Parkway, spun out and got stuck. So I knew exactly where she was. I got over there as quickly as I could. When I pulled up, she was already out of her car, her gun drawn, and she was giving the driver commands, to which obviously he didn't listen to her at all. I got out of my car. Um, by the time I got out of my car and I had reached the front corner of my car, I just started hearing gunshots. She was within three feet of the driver. Uh, she immediately fell backwards, went down. I just started returning fire as soon as I could. Uh, as returning fire, I was trying to move as close as I could to her because I knew she was on the ground. She was in a very vulnerable, vulnerable position. Um, I emptied my magazine, went around, uh, reloaded, and got to her just to make sure. You know, being on the ground, I didn't know the driver's condition. It was dark. Uh, it wasn't clear as day if he was reloading, if he was hit, if he was what he was doing in the car. Um, I got to her. When I got to her, she told me she'd been hit. She was still somehow trying to reload her gun, even after being shot three times, laying down on the ground in the middle of February. Um, I told her just kind of hang tight, we'll wait for somebody else to get here. I stood over her uh, with my gun on the driver of the car. I uh, just waited for another officer to get there. Another officer arrived, um, told him Rachel got hit. We went up to the car because there was still the gun in the car. Uh, at that point, we saw the driver had been shot multiple times. Um, uh, the other officer covered me. I went into the car, retrieved the gun, we secured the, the shooter. And then by that time, there were tons more officers there. They were tending to her. Uh, they were coming up to help us and then pretty much they took it from there. Have you been to the memorial before? It was our first time. Uh, first time in Washington to see this is amazing. Last night it was so moving just to see that many people gather for such a great cause. I was, I, it took my breath away. I, I have no words for it. It was incredible just to see, like I said, the amount of people that showed up for it, um, how everybody came together uh, between the guys riding the bikes down here all the different honor guards and then just the officers and civilians uh, who you know, come together, meet in one place like throughout the country, all for the same cause. It was just, it was incredible. It really was. I think a lot of us get um, tainted in this job um, and you start to lose a little bit of faith in that thin blue line sometimes, but I think you walk in there and it literally restores your faith in this job and this profession and the people who do it. It's just. 
it's an it's it's beautiful.